Many years ago when I was studying advocacy for the bar, we were taught by a very experienced barrister a secret formula that you could use to win any argument and to give yourself the best chance of persuading a court. This barrister passionately taught us this. It's been about a decade and I still remember it and I would say I use it every day. I don't think he actually gave it enough credit. I think that if you master this formula, you can persuade almost anyone of anything. It's called the four steps and the first step is who am I? In legal speak we call this standing. It's who am I? Why do I have the right to approach the court to request the remedy. But in general arguments, it's more about who are you as an individual and what do you bring to the argument that you bring. The second one is, what do I want? In a legal context, this is, what is the remedy or the outcome that I'm asking the court to give me? Am I asking the court to give my client the land? Am I asking my court to give the client the divorce? Am I asking my client not to go to jail? In normal arguing, it's the same thing. It's, what is the outcome that I hope to get this other person to say? Is it, will you go on a date with me? Is it, we'll have Chinese for dinner? Is it, we're going to watch this movie instead of that movie? The third step is, why can I have it? What is it that gives the court the power to grant this? This is the law. Where does it say in the law that the judge or the magistrate or the justice has the power to do what you're asking? This requires you to have a knowledge of the subject matter. In area arguing, it relates to why can we do the thing that we want to do? Why are we going to go to that restaurant? Is it possible to do it? Where is the constraint and how do we deal with it? And the final one is why should I have it? Persuade me. This is what people think lawyers do all of the time, but it's actually a small part of our job. Convincing a judge to give you what you want is about getting the argument right, tight, hitting the place that it needs to hit. Same when you argue normally, right? But persuasion should only come once you've identified who you are, what you want, and why they have the power to give it to you. Because once you've mastered those things, persuading them is as simple as telling them that because of all of these other factors, you have what I want and it would be good if you give it to me. It's probably the best argument formatting that I've ever seen. I use it every day and I like to think I'm pretty good at court. I'm pretty good at arguing in general, right?